My name is Lenore von Stein, and this is The Facts. Uh, this episode of The Facts is called The Weaker uh, because uh, I'm one of the weaker. I'm one of the little people. Anyway, I'm sitting here with some big people. Uh, there's Bern Nix is with me, uh, Beth Griffith, uh, Rachel Evans, and Andrew Bolotowski. And this is a rehearsal, actually, for the episode that we're going to shoot called, that I'm calling The Weaker. And um, so it, the inspiration is, is both being a marginalized soul and, uh, and wanting to, working very hard to move out of that category, but I'm also worried about uh, what kind of person I'll be moving out of that category or on the way through that category, you know. I mean, the, the bad things and the good things that, you know, it's not just bad guys and good guys, it's like the bad person and the good person in each of us, you know, power is, uh, you know, power. And I want more of it, but it, there's a danger there. Um, let's try the store. Uh, we, we're working on some of the pieces that are going to be in the episode. Continue to work on. It's an endless. Uh, da, da, da. And um, so you want me to count this, or you, you, you want to hit it all on your own, and it's in common time? And um, <coughs> Oh. Sorry. Um, I should count? Okay, here we go. So I'll give you four for nothing. What about here? One, it's just tell me, you know. <laughs> this is what I was doing all the time at another rehearsal. And I used to do this. Anyway, I would say one, and then I would say, is that too fast? And, you know, there's, there's a built-in joke. Uh, one, two, no, yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know by two. One, two, three, four. One, Sounds like played at that. It sounds like I'm, I'm walking up and down this, the aisles of some store. You know, really. Macy's. <laughs> okay. Is there any any part of it that you want to replay or look at? Bars. Things. The mezzanine. 
Person of bridge. <laughs> I, I had this thing written out that I was for this, uh, but anyway, I'll say it anyway. But it's slightly modified. Anyway, so I'm I'm watching this. You know this this show Need to Know. It took over Bill Moyer's slot on TV, and it's a it's a it looks like it's more conservative because of the set, and the way people are dressed and where they, they look like bankers. You know, it's sort of a, it's a progressive bankers, and um, and so and and so they were. They were, I remember Milano looks like that. Looks like bankers' behinds, and uh, whatever. And uh, so there was this clip from this professor in Chicago who said he was despairing. Uh, I wrote it down. Despairing about the obstacles of getting violence less in Chicago, um, but not to fear because there were ways to do it without dealing with the poverty issues, which is what. I mean, why not deal with the poverty issues? <laughs> you know, this is this you know this is where the rubber meets the road. And what are you going to do? Have like anger management classes? And um, so, um, you know, it's like it's like Florence during Dante's time. That's one of my favorite books. Maybe my favorite book. It took me about a year and a half to read it. And um, and uh, the longer I live, the more I sort of understand, although I vaguely, only vaguely remember the book, why it's, why it's, why it, it touched me so deeply, uh, or I feel it, I don't understand because I can only remember. But, um, and um, so this is kind of an example of it, you know, very, um, I was talking to a college professor in a po big, big poli-sci department a woman, only woman in the department. She'd worked in the department for years and years and been passed up for more than one time for, for a promotion. And at one point she took them to, to um, court. And in the court case, it came out, and maybe this is the only way it would have come out, that she was making, uh, that everyone in the department, that were all men, they were making on average 18% more than she was. <laughs> And whether you like women or not. Stupid. Of course, it's not just your economy or my economy. It's not just your book deals. It, it's not just your pension or your annual raises. It's not just your wise investments. It's not just your philanthropic instincts. It's not just your haircuts or your daughter's wedding or your pragmatism. <laughs> The older I get, the smarter I get so far. Then it's going to reverse.
So let's try mumbling. <coughs> Mumbling, 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 mumbling. I got it. So, okay, this is a, this is an issue. This is an issue, right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? The issue of lively and accelerating as it goes along. Mm -hmm. That's my. I'm interested in that. I, so, you want me to counter it? You, or you want to just? I do the. Uh, uh, you have a cue, okay? But let's talk a second about this uh, this accelerating stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh oh, I hear you. I hear you. Uh -oh. But um, um, what do you say? Mm. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <coughs> um, so you don't you don't need me to count this, right? You gotta get the ignition. Get the ignition, okay. Ignition lively, ready. lively, you know, like like you're in a bar at night, uh, but early in the night. We all have exhilarators, all the ones used. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we just try it? Uh, uh, okay. Why don't we just, you want to try your cue? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me give you a tempo. Okay. Anywhere. Okay. One, two, oh. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm thinking of dancing <laughs> a jig. One, 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 two, three. Okay, so we should just gonna do that once then. No, twice. Yeah, I did it twice. Yeah, you did. It was so fast, maybe you have to do it four yeah. times. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, three one times. And one and a half. Do it again. Do it twice. Yeah, oh we're waiting on you. Oh, okay. I really heard it towards the end. I really heard it <laughs> towards the end. <laughs> no, and it's not you. And let me tell you, because I want to, I want, I want to cop to this. That that I, I, as many musicians, you know, you're you're on a you're in playing in front of people, and and you you pretend to listen to what's going on around you. Because at least I did a lot of that, and I I did it so much I, I couldn't hear what was going on because I, I was so self-involved and worried or whatever, you know, taking care of my own business that. I couldn't really hear, you know, and sometimes, like, if I was playing a club, I would really, you know, I would pretend to really dig it. I didn't know, you know, what was happening. Mm -hmm. And I just knew where I was going to jump in, you know, but I, I, I didn't, you know, and, and, and it corrupts your ears, you know, like, and, and so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to uncorrupt my ears. So I was, I was listening, you know, I was listening. Um, towards the end, I, could, you know, I had to force myself. Um, and, you know, these are... These are cultural bags that you get put in, and, and um, you know, there's any number of them. They're just endless. Um, no, boo, 
That song we played th before the store, that was about um, this mythic, this store that I kept on dreaming about, this great store in my dreams. And, uh, and I don't know if it was real or parts of it were real and parts of it were, were not real, but s in a way, New York offers that possibility. There aren't many good stores, but it offers the possibility of a lot of good, you know, good stores. And mm, that's so wonderful, you know, it's like a good meal, more than, I don't know, but a good store or a series of good stores where you can afford it and there's beautiful things and, um, ooh, ooh, just ground me in that beautiful, that I can buy this little piece of that I can buy this I can buy that I can buy this thing you made I can buy this other thing that you made I can buy this thing to taste I can drink and whatever that is I'm having trouble with insomnia I think I've been having trouble with insomnia for, I don't know, it's years now. Anyway, I went to my doctor yesterday. This is the truth. And um, my doctor brought me this little sheet. And I had heard most of this stuff, like stop working a couple of hours before you go to sleep and don't sleep in the same place where you do lots of other things, you know, make it a separate little experience. And uh, and da 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 But the, I got it, I got it, I got it. But the one thing that she, that she said that, is it's I'm practicing but it's real hard is finish all your thinking your adding up of the day <laughs> before you lay down in the bed <laughs> and you just you just coming down coming down and down and down I never stop thinking and uh, so you're supposed to you know do it like she said do all your to do your head to do list before you get into the bed you finish that in your head you lay down in the bed you know if somebody would read me a story it would help a lot and um <laughs> so um um now i lay me down the da -da 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 -da. and my next door neighbors are having pro that same problem too they've moved into different rooms and I'm, I'm wondering is the whole floor that i live on is the whole building not sleeping People working too hard, right? 
people climbing and working and climbing and working and thinking and hiding and wishing, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> pretending. But what about my pretending time, Doctor? Do that before you go to bed. I heard that. Maybe this needs to be soft enough or something. <laughs> uh, and well, one of us will call you up in the middle of the night. In this series, The Facts, um, w this is now going, we're going weekly. And in this weekly series, The Facts, we're going to be alternating discussions with people with artworks, many of which will have been inspired by one or more of the things that were in the discussions. And maybe the discussions, the topics of discussions will be uh, set off, you know, ins uh, inspired by uh, ideas that come out of this. So there's, a, you know, it's, 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 it's I, I, I think of different ways of saying it because I'm always trying to raise money to do it. Um, planes of creativity, these, these levels, these planes of you, uh, the creative process really exposing it, or at least my particular creative process, um, ideas, and then I make, I make works about things that I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed by. And, and this has always been my, this is why I do this. And, and then I, I, I'm less disturbed by them, at least temporarily, because I find out something else that I, I get, I gain some insight. And, and I win a little, you know, one for me. And um, so one of the things I thought today for one of the episodes of the discussion episode is, um, it's, it's still vague, but uh, here it, here's the outline of it, is, is what do some cultures leave out? Like sometimes I, I'm, looking at th I'm looking at the world around me and I'm thinking, how much better could it be if, if, if for instance, if, these, if, if, if all of these people were better educated in certain ways, but then again, you know, all these college educated people are uh, screwing this woman's salary. But in any case, uh, so, you know, what, 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 what do you buy with, with, with certain things that, you know, still it's very vague, inclusions into culture and, and, and exclusions from culture. I mean, what do you buy and, and what do you lose with the different brands of injustice that are endemic to all cultures. And, and specifically, let's look at a specific type of injustice and, 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 and uh, uh, towards a specific group of people because it's a, you know, it's a worldwide event, this stuff. It, the players change. And uh, so it's, and, and that's what I thought I'd find some, the idea is I've, I have these ideas and then I find some experts to talk to me about it and hit me, you know. So I, I'm, I'm not just floating around in the same place. I'm floating maybe in a different place. Wow.